Hi, I'm Lolita, and welcome to The Virtuous Lady. On this channel, our, my goal is to inspire you, to motivate you, to encourage you, and to teach you some of the techniques that I use to being a virtuous lady of learning how to expand what we have, use what we got, for the betterment of our family and those around us, and save money at the same time. We're going to be doing a lunch in the park. So in doing that, I'm going to show you some steps that can help you have a successful um, lunch in the park on a shoestring budget, using basically what you have without buying a lot of extra things, and just being able to go out, come together, enjoy yourself in the outdoors, and enjoy nature all around us. So stay tuned. We're going to go step by step on ways to having a successful lunch in the park. Okay, we're back. These are some of the things that, options that you can use on a picnic. Not to say that you don't know what to do, but um, a nice homemade type thing where you're actually using things from your house. I mean, but if you're in a rush, of course, pizza and subs and stuff like that will go. But um, try to use some of the things that you already have in your refrigerator. And I say this because you don't always have to go out and spend a lot of money. You can kind of use what you have. So in the basket here, what we have made, I've used this before, is um, we call it salad in a jar. And salad in a jar can be made the night before. You have your lettuce, your tomatoes, uh, we have spinach in here, we have cheese. Whatever you put in here, just put your dressing on top. Because when you turn, turn it over and put it actually in a plate, when you dump it over, um, the dressing is on the bottom so it doesn't soggy up your lettuce. So this was made like the night before. And don't put your croutons in here. So we have two of those. Some of the other things you can pack. We love to have cheese and crackers. Um, these are containers that are takeouts that was reusable. I have my crackers. I have my um, Hickory Farms cheese and Swiss cheese. I mean Hickory Farms sausage and Swiss cheese. So these are reusable packages that I had gotten. I'm just reusing for my fruit what we're taking, because we're doing it on a healthy level, is fresh strawberries. And um, these are done kind of like the night before too. We have same containers, celery and carrots. We have ranch dip. And just kind of choose a, a basket that can kind of accommodate the things that you want to put in there also have the mustard. This is Hickory Farms as well. It's barbarian mustard. That goes good with the cheese and the crackers and the sausage. This is a, a container I had a while ago. Actually, I used it for my granddaughter's lunch. This has a freezer insert that you pull out, and when you pull it out, you stick it in the freezer, it gets hard, and it just keeps it cold. So I just lined this with paper towels. I rinsed off the grapes, and they're good to go. It will be cold for a little while. For a little while. Try to take things up a, a little notch. We did have some cookies. These were store bought cookies dipped in chocolate. Um, that doesn't take long. You just melt the chocolate and dip it in it. Add a little decoration to it. We have our croutons, of course. I always keep this in my basket at all times salt and pepper. So basically, this is all that you would need as far as food inside of your basket. I try to take things, like I said, a different on a different level. I added a bowl to it to make it a little festive. So these are the foods that we have packed. We also have four bottle, three bottled waters. Those I carry in my cooler. We have a shoulder cooler. They can also fit in here. If you would, could chill it at night or whatever, put it in the freezer, let it get kind of a um, couple hours before you leave, let it get, you know, that little icy in it. And after that, you're pretty much set. And we do have room for that to fit in here. Okay, now we're back. There's still plenty of room. This still can close. So we're going to add the other additional items that we're looking to use. These are not the ones that I use, but I do sell baskets. But um, 
usually for a special occasion. These are Dollar Tree knives, forks, and spoons. You can use paper plates. You can use whatever you choose to. And um, paper cut, cut, cutlery. I choose to like real forks and spoons and knives. I like tablecloths. So this is a tablecloth, actually just some material that I had cut some, um, a while back to use for a tablecloth. And it works perfectly. It fits perfectly in the basket. I like cloth napkins. So I found coordinating fabric, which you can probably still pick up napkins at um, like Walmart or any place like that. Any store would carry cloth napkins if you're interested in them at a reasonable price. So I try to make sure that everything is coordinating. And this, these were my color schemes. Plastic bag. I always carry a spare plastic bag. This is just in, when you finish with your plates or anything, you can always just tuck them in there, anything that's dirty, that you can bring it home and wash them. I like to keep straws. And these I usually keep in my basket at all times. And then we have our glasses. Even though we drink bottled water, I still like to take my glasses um, with us. Put straws in them, you put a piece of strawberry or fruit in them or whatever, and it still makes, it just makes everything look a little bit more festive. The plates. These are the plastic plates. I got these at the Dollar Tree as well. And these work well. You get, I think, a set of four. And this fits perfectly inside the basket as well. I'm gonna tuck it down. There we go. Um, I'm not a wine drinker, but I bought these a while back. This is a corkscrew. This is a wine stopper. We live in wine country over here, but I, for some reason, wines, I just don't like wine. But uh, we still keep it, and I keep it in my picnic basket along with my salt and pepper at all times. Because if I'm guests are coming with me or something like that, we also have that. And that concludes for the packing of the essential things. And everything basically is pickable, pick, pick it up, and you're pretty much ready to go with the food. Next, we're going to talk about health and safety. We all want to make sure that we're safe while we're away, um, enjoying ourselves. These are, it says personal care antibacterial wet wipes. Pack these along. They kill germs. It's good for, you know, wiping your hands and cleaning things. This particular brand I got from the Dollar Tree while I was in there. And um, just carry them around because you never do know when you need to get food on your hand or sticky or something like that. You'll have these with you. Next item are face masks. These face masks, these are ours. Um, make sure that you carry them. Yesterday we were at the park, and while we were at the park, um, the restroom wasn't far. So we went to go to the restroom, and a big sign was on the door, you know, please wear um, face masks are required before entering. So I said, I'm glad I had them with them, but it's just a, a habit that we carry these with us all the time. Um, one of the other things is hand sanitizer. This is a migraine, a sanitizer that I use because I like using natural things that's gonna be good on my skin and not harmful. This particular sanitizer does, it's a sanitizing spray. And it just takes two sprays because a little goes a long way. This has tea tree oil, essential oils in it, and it also has lemongrass essential oils, which is great for as a disinfectant um, and plus Add it with the alcohol and the aloe vera gel, and also add it with the um, vitamin E. This really helps your skin to stay soft. It doesn't harm your skin or dry out your skin. And I carry this mostly in my purse at all times. The only other thing that I don't have here would be sunblock and sunscreen. I do not use, as a woman of color, I don't use um, sunscreen, but I do use sunblock. Um, basically what it does is protect your skin against the UV rays of the sun, which can be dangerous and harmful to your skin, as it does um, cause skin cancer. So I use sunblock, and basically you just cover the portions of your skin that are exposed. So basically this is the health and safety feature when you're packing for lunch in the park. One of the things that I use a lot we have a Bose speaker, and I am not sponsored by Bose or anything, but this generally sets the mood big time. When we can connect it to our phone or to our tablet and just nice, quiet music, or if you want to hear um, soft worship type music, or 
instrumental type music, or sometimes we'll put our phone on something for Josiah, uh, for kids or something like that, and she'll get a kick out of that. As for eating, it just kind of sets the tone. Okay, the last thing we're packing for lunch in the park, you need a good blanket. We have a few that we use. This is one of our bigger ones. We use this, you try to find a blanket that's not fleece, that's not gonna pick up a lot of lint or whatever. Um, any type of quilt will do. Use whatever you have. So a lot of people use their comforters or whatever. I don't use my comforters. But um, this is nice and thin, but yet and still, it will repel a lot of the dirt. All right, this is one I think that they use, similar to one that they use for packing. So this is a big one, it's big enough to accommodate the three of us. We also try to bring activities and books. So we all picked out a book, you know, even reading outdoor spaces and, you know, just enjoying the outdoors. My book that I picked was Joel Osteen, Blessed in the Darkness. That's the one that I chose to bring to read. My husband, Destiny, Step Into Your Purpose, T.G. Jakes, and my great granddaughter. She likes Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So um, you get something that you're able to take with you, because after you eat, um, what do you do? Get a chance just to read, to look up into the sky, just to enjoy the nature and everything around you, the quietness, the stillness, you know, for what God created. Because remember, in Buffalo or in Geneva, we have very short summers. So you try to maximize every moment. Um, cards, these are things that you can play. Jenga is good. Anything that you can play with as family, as a couple, um, just sit and have fun, you know? Many times we work so hard throughout the week, we're busy doing life, um, keeping up our families, keeping up as a virtuous woman, you're always looking ways to better your lifestyle, to better your family, to enjoy things, to save money. Um, so this is your time of relaxation, a time to really enjoy those special times. And I always like to take flowers. For some reason when I'm setting up the um, setting everything up, laying the food out. I like everything to look pretty and, and look, just look nice as if we're out in a restaurant on an outdoor patio area. Um, you can take anything and turn it into something special. Remember, this is your time to enjoy yourself. You can just throw anything together just like any, any type of picnic or either you could up it up a notch and make it special because we are special in the eyes of God and you want to do everything you can for your family to make them feel special. And in doing that, you feel good too. So these were just some tips um, that we can that you can use. You kind to kind of um, use it for your benefit. You know, you can add, take away, whatever works out for you. Make it a time of just being together, um, being able to enjoy yourself and enjoy the great outdoors. I want to thank you at this point for watching The Virtuous Lady. And also at this time, um, if you like, you know, take time to like, share, and hit the notification bell for, uh, to subscribe to my channel. Um, I really appreciate that. And as for now, I'm saying bye for now. And I'll see you in the next video. Be blessed. Enjoy yourself.